Well, we might affect Mars. And supposedly, according to this, scientists are developing these little nanomachines that can kill cancer cells by essentially just physically drilling into them and rupturing the membrane. You know, the guts spill out or whatever. Now, nanomachines which can drill into cancer cells, killing them in just 60 seconds, have been developed by scientists. Many spinning molecules are driven by light and spin so quickly they can burrow their way through cell lines when activated. One test conducted at Durham University, nanomachines took between one and three minutes to break through the outer membrane of prostate cancer cell, killing it instantly. I thought, thought it took um, between one and three minutes. Well, okay, I'm nitpicking on the language. Uh, motor is a rotor-like chain of atoms, which can be not to move in one direction, causing molecules to rotate at high speed. Now, Dr. Robert Powell of Durham University said we are moving towards realizing our ambition to see be able to use light, actively in animals to use target cancer cells, such as those in breast ca- tumors and skin melanomas, including those that are resistant to existing chemotherapy. Once developed, this approach could provide a potential step change in non-invasive invasive cancer treatment and greatly improve survival rates and patient welfare globally. Scientists whose work is reported in the journal Nature created several different light activated motorized molecules designed to home in on specific cells. They found that nanomachines needed to spin at 2 to 3 million times per second to overcome nearby obstacles and outpace natural grounding in motion, erratic movement of microscopic particles suspended in fluid. Uh, you can see an example of Brownian motion if you, you know, have a few particles of dust, and, you know, or whatever, and they're flying on top of, uh, just a cup of water or something, and they're sitting there moving around, that's Brownian motion. The molecules can also be used either to tunnel into cells carrying therapeutic agents, or Wax is killer weapons that blast open tumor membranes. The video shows cancer cell membranes bubbling under the salt without an ultraviolet trigger. The motor molecules located in target cells and then remain harmlessly on their surfaces. So, I'd like to know how does these things and uh, find, know how to find the specific cells, I'd be afraid they'd attack anything that, uh, they want. This site, Dr. James Tour, member of the International Team for Race University in Houston, for Houston, U.S. says, these nanomachines are so small that we can park 50,000 of them across the diameter of human hair, yet they have been targeting and manufacturing components that combined in that diminutive package making long molecular machines a reality for treating disease. This study was shown that with drilling that cells, animal cells, human cells using these nanomachines that will attach to the surface of the light will be shown on them and they'll drill right into the cell. It's interesting. Like I said, I'd be worried that these things would attack uh, healthy cells. I don't know, man. They have some way of getting them so they only attack the bad ones. It's an interesting approach and it's not chemotherapy so you wouldn't have you wouldn't have uh, you know, hair loss and all that, and sickness. Interesting approach, but it works. I'm naturally skeptical, but... 
you know, I don't, I won't want to discourage this. I know he's a mad science update, but, uh, such is life. As a matter of fact, some Mars, uh, we are the Borg. Resistance is futile. Thanks for watching.